me. And then I told him, don't chew gum, Andrew, because if you should pause a minute and uh, maybe take a nap or just close your eyes for a minute, they're going to take that gum and they're going to put it to your hair because they're jealous of your hair. So I hope he believes me. Okay, let me tell you about the first time we were aware of this building being haunted. This was owned by the Masons at one time. And the Masons always entertained in this their ballroom. And they wore evening gowns. And the men wore tuxedos. And we used to notice that our powwows, you know, were inclusive. Anybody can come in and dance with us. And we don't judge them by how they dress. But one time, we, uh, the oldest woman here, Annie, said to me, do you notice that one woman who comes in an evening gown, her feet don't touch the floor. Look real close, you'll see. There's about a fourth of an inch between her feet and the floor. And she said, she's a spirit. So we tried to get rid of her and we were fearful. But fortunately, God took over, she passed away. But one night we were sitting here and uh, my old friend Annie said, I thought you said that woman passed away. I said, she did. She said, look up in the balcony. We didn't have that closed off. And there she was sitting. She never left us. So this place is haunted. So be careful. Now, another thing, when you come to any closet here, don't ever open the door alone. Make sure somebody's there to pick you up when whenever you see it there, you fall over in a faint, they can catch you. Another thing, if you see some special food that you know everyone likes, make sure you put a piece here and there, not for the mice, but for those spirits that come here because they're used to eating with us. That's one thing we Indians like to do is eat and we sh like to share it. I could go on and on, but I said it would be short, so it's short. Thank you. Bye.